Hello and welcome to Debug Quest, a game about debugging reality. I'm not sure if that's the truth, I don't know if that's how I should say it, but it's arguably about that. It's for It was made for Ludum Dare. Uh, if you know what Ludum Dare is, Ludum Dare is a game jam that occurs every so often. I don't know the exacts of it. I believe it happens, I thought it happened every year, but it could be every few months for all I know. Um, but usually a lot of the games are really good. I'm rambling on a little bit, so uh, let's just get into it. Uh... <laughs> Oil Citizen, the mysterious machine that was here before our time and kept our village alive for centuries seems to be malfunctioning. Go fix it. Um, okay. Why not? Nope. Okay. Uh, so, I guess I'm deep. As I said, I joked that I was. I was joking when I said I'm debugging reality. I guess I'm not. Am I? Taboo. Skulls all over it. And, uh, do not go inside. This little symbol right here. And an X. And then it has some religious paraphernalia outside, or stuff that seems like offerings and candles. Um, which is strange. But it says taboo. So it makes me think, just in the first part of the game, that the world has ended. Okay? And that when the world ended, they wrote tab people were protesting and wrote taboo and all this, painted all this stuff. Or possibly this stuff is from us, but I think it might be painted from before our time. Now we go into the incorporation building. Oh god, that atmospheric sound. The music. Pretty good. A red message flashes on the monitor. Warning. Gate malfunctioning. Deploy maintenance bots. Last maintenance bot. The last maintenance done. So... There are no maintenance bots. The game is malfunctioning, and the last maintenance was done sometime. So I guess we're gonna go get maintenance. Okay. Cargo area. So I don't. Okay, it respawned me because I guess that's an enemy. So there's giant bugs. You know, I I saw this game a long time ago, and I was like, oh, let's play it. I have no clue what's going on. So all I can see is giant bugs. So either, so I think this group or company made did some research, and that was what they researched. And I don't think that's a good thing. I feel like that's what ended the world. They created giant bugs or something. Oh, fuck. Uh, see, for this, you can actually kind of, you can see where you're supposed to stand, but go a little too far and you instantly are going to be dead. Okay. Maintenance! <laughs> That's a pentagram. There's a message on the screen. The voice, it told me to lock everyone in, so I did. Now they're all trying to steal my wrench. I won't let them. They could open the doors with it. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, wrench, thank you. I guess we have a weapon now. Oh, here's the little maintenance buddy. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't think I would kill myself. Okay, buddy. Go across. Be good, buddy. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Save the maintenance bot. And then, uh, boom. Boom. 
I fucked up. Uh, this game is very generous with save points. I can say that. But the sound, some of the sound effects are really loud. Now you probably won't hear them as high as I do, but I didn't I didn't mess with my audio before recording. Oh. Oh, what's down? There's something over there. I think... I'm confused. Yeah? There's something more that I have to do. I think I, it could have been up there, but I think it's down here. But I just... Did I miss the... F <laughs> I think I'm... Ugh, I think I missed the jump. Or... We kill bugs. The sewers. Okay. Cargo. Okay, so I guess the bugs no longer are a problem? Yeah, because I can't jump. Anyway, we're just going to continue on. Kill the bugs, who I think were eating humans. This is why I think that the bugs are evil. I'm gonna pull that switch and the bugs gonna drop down. Yeah, there's another bug too. How we can walk across gas, I don't know. It's a very intelligent bug. I do love that the wrench, though, is used to kill them, even though we had no clue that the wrench could be used. Another dude. There's a message on the screen. We managed to find refuge from the monstrous bugs. No one knows where they came from, but the entire facility is now under lockdown. No way out. Okay. Thank you. Uh, wait a second, though. If it's under lockdown because of bugs... Does that mean the whole city is powered by bug stuff? I would have to say yes. Okay, we're going to do that. But it makes me think that when the bugs, or when I open that door, the bugs are going to escape. And that's not a good thing. Cause it makes me th question why the city was... Or why the city runs on the power from this facility in the first place. And whether or not survival is possible. Right? Because that raises some red flags right here. But if I go... Okay. Core. There are bugs here, right? Cool status error. Maintenance bots required. Critical status reached. Eden protocol. No, Eden protocol. Shut down until maintenance is complete. Eden protocol status. Terraforming error. Water processing error. Process start less over nine. Okay, over a thousand years ago. There's a message on the screen. We've been told to evacuate, but everyone or everything is under lockdown. One of the workers said that he knew a way through the sewers. We are going to follow them. Message from the Eden Corporation. <clears throat> Dear workers, this facility is to hum is humanity's last hope at reviving our dying earth. Everyone is counting on you. Good luck. There's a bunch of weird stuff written on that screen. Run autopilot dot bat. Are you sure? Yes. So that's an autopilot batch file. So more than likely, the entirety of this whole thing has been unmaintained for over a thousand years. Which allowed humanity to reset itself. Because that's the idea, is like humanity will reset itself if technology goes goes kaput. Like we, we still use personally technology, but a lot of technology, if it goes kaput, we will reach 
uh, the Dark Ages again, and then have to restart from there. Even if we do have the tech. So, autopilot sh shows that this whole facility has been on autopilot for maybe... I don't know how many years, but I know that if it started right here over a thousand years ago, that means this facility has been around for a long while. Error. Bugs detected. Hatch access. So our goal is to go kill the bugs. To, and make sure that the facility is fine. Oh, am I supposed to... Oh! Are you freaking kidding me? There are two... There are two robots. That one goes first. And, uh, frick. So I can assume... Oh, it randomly spawns. Which one goes first? That's, that's, it's evil. Yeah, I didn't know I had two maintenance bots to do at the same time. If I did, I would, uh, I would be spending a lot more time on this than, or a lot more focus on it than just ignoring that obvious fact. But I didn't see the maintenance bot on top. I saw the maintenance bot on bottom, but... Okay, that's debug quest. So I'm assuming what happened was we reactivated the core. Though I would love to kind of know what the core did in the first place, other than reprocessing water and pretty much reforming the earth for humanity's sake. It makes you think, and that's all I can really say is it, it's, a, it's a game that makes you think about humanity. I have no clue how to respond to that. <laughs> uh, yeah, th that's I guess that was Debug Quest. I hope you enjoyed. I'm a bit confused. Just because of all the little bits of lore for this game that were thrown in there to build the story. Hmm. But yeah. As I said, uh, or as I will say, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.